I'm gonna try to chalk paint this uh, old nightstand. Uh, it's part of a bedroom set that I've had for over 20 years. It's a bit outdated and instead of throwing it away I want to upcycle it and recycle it and uh, try to chalk paint it to give it a new life. Uh, remove all these scratch marks, make it look fresh. So let's get right on to it. The tools we're using to complete the project are the following, a microfiber cloth to clean properly the whole nightstand, a cotton cloth for later in the project to spread around the wax at the end, a rough sandpaper for the hardware, the handle of the drawer, and I'm using a finer sandpaper for the nightstand itself. It's a 200G sponge. I'm also using three different kind of brushes. The two inch flat brush will be to apply the first and uh, base color. I'm using the three inch flat brush with the fine top to apply the lighter coloration and have it more highlighted. And then I'm gonna use the three inch round brush to apply the wax. I'm also going to need a water spray bottle to make the chalk paint easier to manage and to spread around with a brush. In terms of color, I chose the dark gray, country gray as a base color, and then I'm going to apply on top of it the aged gray that's a lighter gray. And to seal the chalk paint at the end, I'm going to be combining the clear wax with a dark antique wax. And now we're ready for the first step with a damp microfiber cloth. We are going to wipe down every inch of the nightstand, making sure to remove all the dirt and um, the dust, especially the bottom corners. Now that the cleaning is done, I'm going to remove the handle and take out the drawer. We're going to lightly sand the furniture now. The point is not to remove the laminate. What we want to do is just render it a little bit more dull and less shiny. And for that, we have to apply very, very minimal pressure to it. We're going to wipe down all the dust particles that we created with the sanding and I'm going to show you here the difference now between the drawer that has been sanded. It's more dull. We don't see as much shine as the nightstand surface that we haven't sanded yet. And this is exactly what we want to get. I'm going to use the same sanding technique I did on the drawer and uh, sand the whole nightstand now. I'm making sure that I apply a little bit more pressure around the scratch marks to smoothen their edges. Our furniture piece is sanded and cleaned properly. There's no more shine to it, which makes the surface now more appropriate for painting. This is the exciting part. We're going to start applying the first coat, which is the dark gray. I'm going to apply a little bit of paint to start uh, practicing my uh, strokes. It's the first coat, so it doesn't have to be perfect, but I'm going to try to spread it around evenly as much as I can. And if it's too sticky, I can always spray a bit of water to make it um, easier to spread. The scratches will still be visible after the first coat of paint, but that's not a problem. There's going to be other coats on top of them that's going to get to hide them later on. I'm going to be more careful painting the corners to avoid splattering too much paint everywhere and um, there's always going to be a little bit of accumulation that um, gathers on the top so I'll just brush it off and clean it. I 
I wanted to experiment while painting the side of the nightstand. My laminate original uh, texture goes vertical, but I decided to use my strokes in a horizontal manner. And uh, since the chalk paint is thick, we're going to see what effects it gives once it's dried. I finished uh, painting all the nightstand and now I'm going to do the drawer. I have this black stripe that goes across which I think it's some kind of plastic and I'm hoping that since chalk paint is thick enough to paint a laminate, uh, I'm probably going to be able to cover the plastic and it's going to stick to it. So we'll see what the end result is going to be. I waited about three hours for the chalk paint to be dried. We could see that the coverage is not 100% uniform. It doesn't look that great yet and the scratch marks are still very visible, but I'm not worried. I'm sure that after the second coat, it's gonna look a lot better. To apply the second coat, I'm gonna use the same dark gray with the two inch flat brush. And I'm gonna do my coverage a little bit better, spread it evenly, and uh, make sure to cover as much as possible the laminate underneath. up of the surface after the second coat has completely dried we see that the paint looks a lot more opaque and there's a better coverage everywhere so we're going to go ahead and add the texture now with our lighter gray paint and give it more dimension i'm going to use the light gray that is called aged gray it's two tones lighter than my base coat using the three inch flat brush with fine points, spraying a little bit of water on the edges and dabbing a small amount of paint, cleaning it up. And I'm gonna start applying it with a very, very light movement without putting too much pressure. The point is just to give it a little bit of texture here. was still too dark for my taste so I used the same amount of paint that was on my brush and just added a bit of water to it that allowed me to uh, spread the lighter paint a lot more easier uh, chalk paint is very thick so when we add water to it it becomes easier to spread and that gave me more white coverage The sides of my nightstand are a bigger surface than the top, so I tried to experiment here with different techniques, doing some crisscrosses, some horizontal, and if something wasn't to my taste, I could always spray some water, fix it, or wipe it out. Um, it's easy to fix and control the amount of uh, lighter coverage that we want. This step 
was the longest part of the project to complete. And although it took a lot of patience and trial and error, I found that it was the best part of the project. It was fun, it got me to be creative, and I enjoyed it a lot. The paint dried after 24 hours, and this is what it looks like. It has a very nice coverage. We don't see the scratch marks anymore. Um, I like the texture it created and the highlight of the light gray on top of the dark. It looks really the way I expected it to. To seal it properly and prevent it from chipping, I'm going to use the cream or clear uh, wax. I'm going to apply it with the round uh, two inch brush. Uh, you could just put a little bit of uh, wax on my brush and I'm going to go ahead and spread it freely. It's very easy to paint um, the wax. Um, I'm going to cover it properly. I wanted to create an antique look for the nightstand, so I'm going to use a small amount of uh, dark wax, which I'm going to dab uh, freely across the surface, and then I'm going to wipe it out very carefully with a cotton cloth. I'm going to keep wiping it until all the brown is, um, is spread out, and it just gives like a slight yellowish uh, coloration. Then I'm going to seal it all um, and make it more uniform with a little bit of a cream or a transparent uh, wax. my project I need to transform the handle of the drawer uh, so I want to give it a antique brushed gold look um, the handle was originally gold and I spray painted it in black a long time ago um, so now I'm gonna sand the black paint off and uh, leave the edges a little bit black and just sand the center and I'm gonna use the coarse sanding paper <music> Putting the handle back and completing the final touches of our project. And project completed. This is what the nightstand looks like now. I'm very glad with the result. It's exactly how I imagined it to be. What do you think? I definitely prefer the new look and color, and now that I have tested the chalk painting technique, I can go ahead and do the remaining pieces of the bedroom set. <music>